to apologize. I made a terrible mistake, and I'm very sorry. It's a bit late in the day for that. Do you mind if we talk inside? I'd rather you just lift. It's more than an apology, Gordon. We have a lot to discuss. I can't imagine what. I bought Wombai. I'm the new owner. If that's your idea of a sick joke... No, I, I'm sorry. I, I know what you must be thinking, but my decision to buy was a purely business one. You expect me to believe that? My place and Wombai are worth more combined. It's nothing more than good investment sense. Huh. What would you know about investment sense? You expect me to swallow that after you let the Reed place go to the pack for years? I won't be running the properties. I'll, I'll bring professionals in to do it for me. Uh, set up the riding school in much the same way as you and Wayne intended. You sued us for almost every cent we had. You forced me to sell the most precious thing in my life. Well, worse than that, you bought it yourself. And you want me to stand here and hold up a civilized chat with you. My solicitor suggested I buy the place as an investment. That's it, full stop. My father and mother came here after the first war. They slaved their guts out to make something of it. He cleared practically the whole place by hand. When I took over, I tried to keep it something he'd be proud of. I know all that, Gordon. Oh, please believe me. I didn't set out to hurt you. And that's supposed to make me feel better? I don't care who you set out to hurt. Patricia, Wayne, whoever. All I know is that you hurt me more than anyone. And you expect me to stand still and listen to your I'm sorry's. You'll be able to take possession in a few days, but until then, Mumbai belongs to us. And you are not welcome here. So I'd appreciate if you just left. not show her face around here again. She'll have me to deal with if she does. I expect you want to be by yourself for a bit. to apologize, but well, there was no way he was going to listen. He made up his mind, and that was it. You can't expect him not to be upset for a while. No. I, I didn't set out to get Gordon. I wanted to hurt her. I just didn't think. My solicitor suggested the idea. I just had a blazing row with Patricia. Oh, it was business, but I suppose I did think of it as another way of getting back. <laughs> what was the point? Let's go back to Sydney. What's there to stay here for? No, you go. I've got to be here for a few days anyway. Take a take official possession. 
get things moving on both places again. I can stay till tomorrow if you want. Thanks. Maybe if if I offered to sell Wombai back to him. Oh, as long as Patricia holds on to that money, he can't afford it. Blonde, pretty, innocent. A killer with a very specific taste. One's complaining because it means a day off. Mm -hmm. I wish I could get a day off. Well, there'll be a live band too. Make a change from the usual disco stuff. Yeah. Oh, well, that'll be Kevin. I haven't even started his breakfast. Bella. How's the paper business? You try getting out at four o'clock in the morning. I think I'll give it a miss. Oh, breakfast will be ready in a minute. Mm. Oh, sorry it's late. I forgot about the time. No. Oh, my fault. Lynn called me yesterday. Been ages since we'd seen each other, so I dropped in on my way to school. You didn't tell me about the social coming up. I didn't think you'd be interested. Of course I'm interested. Hardly ever get to see my old friends now. Be a good chance to. Yeah, but... Well, you get home from work every day, dead on your feet. And I've got early morning starts now. Who wants to go out raging all night? That's what married life's about. Forget it. Look, don't be so boring, Kevin. One night isn't gonna hurt. Probably do you both good. Look, I'll see you later. Thanks for dropping in. See you at the social. Bye. I don't see how you'll do much dancing like that. Well, I don't have to dance. I just want to get out of the house for a while. Have some fun. We haven't been anywhere for ages. Mm. Yeah, I suppose so. It gets a bit boring watching TV all the time. So we can go? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Probably end up being a real buzz. <laughs> I don't care what Donna says. There's not too much wrong with being married. <laughs> <clears throat> You're supposed to wear it, not look at it. Belongs in a shop window. Problems? Okay. We're gonna need every cent we can get after we're married, and Rob goes and blows the lot on an engagement ring. I thought something was up. He wasn't in the best mood at breakfast this morning. It's so stupid. No money in the bank and me walking around like Lady Muck with a diamond on my finger. Yeah, well, I can understand his thinking. He probably feels he has to prove something to you. But why? I suppose he wants to try and keep up with everything he used to. Stupid male ego, that's what it is. What are you going to do? What do you think? At least today's a free period first up. Yeah, you'll still have to rush the other four days, though. One better than five. Mm. Maybe I should go straight from the round to school. You can't do a paper round in your school uniform. <laughs> Would look a bit daggy, I suppose. Yeah. Have you seen my physics book? Mm. It's in the kitchen. Should have seen the looks on the kids' faces when I turned up this morning. Why? Oh, they're only about 14. I'm over the hill to them. Made it even worse when I said I was married. <laughs> Did they believe you? Don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> the old ladies at the cake shop are really funny too. Every time they say anything about it, oh, it's just they're sorry for me. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, you know, oh, Mrs. Adams. She keeps saying, oh, it's such a shame, a young girl like you tying herself down with a baby. <laughs> Who's she talking about, me? <laughs> <laughs> I should say something back, I suppose. No point. The kids I work with are too young to understand. The old dears at the cake shop are too old. Mm. You know, it's funny. Angela's only three years older than us. No one's making a fuss about her getting married. Mm, I suppose that's because Rob's pretty old. Makes a difference. Mm. It's funny the way people think, really, isn't it? Well, I don't care how old they are. Nobody could be happier than us. Right. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Looking for the best deal in town, you've come to the right place. You're about as happy as I feel. I took the ring back, got a refund. Well, we need the money more than we need an expensive ring. I thought you'd come to apologise. 
I slaved my guts out to earn that. I don't need you to spend $2,000 on me to prove you love me. Well, I wanted you to have it. Doesn't that mean anything? Of course it does, but I don't want you wasting your money on me, that's well, all. Well, how about you let me decide on that? I thought you said I could do whatever I liked with it. No, I didn't mean for you to hock it. Well, why shouldn't I? I didn't want it. Giving you that was... what was really important to me. Well, what about me? I mean, marriage is supposed to be a two-way thing. It's not one person having all the say. Yeah, so you want all the say, is that right? I just wanted you to show a bit of sense. Oh, I bragged to David how you'd changed. You don't understand much about me, do you? No more than you do me. There's not really much point in talking about marriage, is there? It's the way you want it? Fine by me. Fantastic couple, really terrific performance. Hello, you two. Where's the fire? No fire. Had a call from Pentridge. I'm going to see Bill. He's agreed to see you. This afternoon. New dress for the occasion? Oh, that's terrific. I bet you're pleased. Pleased? <laughs> I haven't got long. Gotta have a shower. Good one. Great, eh? Yeah. Nice dress. Hmm. Be great to have a new one for the social. Ah, waste of money, though. Angela? Oh, good day. She did it. She told you she was going to. Argument? We broke it off. The engagement? I got on my high horse. She got on hers. We broke it off. All over a lousy, stupid ring. A bit more than that, isn't it? I know how you feel, mate. I remember how I did the first time I turned up here. Ruddy great barn of a place. Pool. Enough land for 20 normal-sized blocks. A bit out of our class. You know what calmed me down, though? Angie. She was... So normal. I mean, with, with all this, she should have turned out like Prue. I suppose she wants to let you know that uh, you don't have to prove anything. That's the way she did it, though. It's the one thing she has in common with Prue. Big-headed. Come on. There's no way either of you want to break it off. I suppose it just boils down to... Who's going to swallow their pride? Ah, oh, hard at it. How good are Mr. Hardy? Something wrong? No, just putting a bit of oil on the back sprocket. Needs a lot more work done on it now I'm using it every morning. Mm. Paper round's going all right, then. You need a bit cold, that's all. Oh, well, young fellow like you, I'm sure you'll survive. Hey, look, uh, Kevin, um... <clears throat> Possibly I've been a, a bit overbearing lately. That's okay. No, no, it's true. I, I misjudged you. The other night showed that. Yes, well, well. Keep up the good work, eh? You will do, Mr. Hyde. Mm. Here's Lynn about? Inside. I told her to rest up for a while. Good. Well, I'll uh, pop in and see her for a few minutes. I'll catch you later. Mm. Oh, Mr. Hardy. Yeah? <clears throat> um, the school social's tomorrow night. Uh, Lynn wants to go. She's been a bit down lately. I thought I'd get her a new dress. Hmm. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, the thing is, I'd need to borrow $20. Uh, I'll get Mum to make up cheap. I'll pay you back, of course. Mm, I'm sure you will. Here. Uh, pay me back when you can. There's no hurry. And, well, man, treat yourself to a taxi, why don't you? Yeah. Gee, thanks, Mr. Hardy. Well, don't worry about the $10. That's just between you and me. Oh, really? I... 
Yeah, thanks. Oh, no, forget it. Just uh, have a good time, all right? Yeah, we will. Looking for me? Better watch out. The wind will change. I'm sorry. What about you? What do you reckon? At least we've had our first argument. I've got a great idea. Let's say we go out and buy an engagement ring tomorrow. Have to be a cheap one, though. Got this tartar of a fiance who won't let me spend my money. <laughs> Delicious and easy. Free. Only trouble is the time went so quickly. He realizes how stupid he was, and he wants me to visit as often as I can. Oh, I love him so much, Mum. <laughs> Funny. If it hadn't been for Noel, none of this would have happened. It was worth losing a few hundred dollars for, wasn't it? Of course it was. It's money. See you when you arrive then, Barbara. Look forward to it. Bye. Mrs. Armstrong. Better company or do you good. Especially her. Went for a walk at first light. Saw Fiona Thompson. Wandering around where they did the grading. Terrible thing to happen to her, but that's no excuse for what she's doing to you. She should wake up to who's really to blame. No one's to blame. You have your opinions, I'll have mine. I've made breakfast. I didn't know where you'd got to. I couldn't help looking at what they've done. There's absolutely nothing left. Oh, come on. You're being morbid. She's not going to get away with it. It's about time Gordon knew exactly the sort of woman he's married to. She's made a complete fool of you, Gordon. You don't give up, do you? There was no need to sell Wombai. Not if Patricia really wanted you to keep it. The inheritance from James was more than enough to cover the debt. The inheritance from James was a drop in the ocean, and you damn well know it. I was at the will reading. I know for a fact that Patricia is a very wealthy woman. She's lied to you. Why would James leave her that much? They were friends, but... Oh, don't be ridiculous. They were lovers, Gordon. For years. That's why he left her a fortune. Your chance to see the worldwide premiere trailer for the upcoming blockbuster movie Pirates of the Caribbean 3 at World's End be watching Dancing with the Stars 7.30 tonight on 7. And if you've ever wished for a brand new start, don't miss All Saints, the number one Australian drama tonight. That's right after Dancing with the Stars on 7. 
next food for life. Bye.